This is not a fairy tale. Or is it? <laughs> For hundreds of years, only the most unfortunate are summoned to the tower, ready to take on the voice and her dark magical forces. There are kicks and challenges on every floor, and someone not to be trusted. Only one will escape with the key of freedom, and the rest... You've got here just in time. <laughs> a bobbing craft has arrived, and Wiley is loading them into the cage. Here they are! <laughs> this lot are from Hastings. There's Ross, he once got stuck in a drain pipe. Lucy, who used to be a postage stamp. Yeah. PJ thought he was going to be on Raven, gutted. Jordan wants Moonwalk the Marathon. Megan, buy one, get one free, and there she is, her twin sister Kimberly, no relation. <laughs> like all those before them, they'll be imprisoned at the top of the tower. They must work as a team to complete challenges and escape each floor. But one of them cannot be trusted, the Saboteur! Only one will leave with the key of freedom, and the rest... That's right. Trapped! <laughs> On each floor, a new Saboteur will be chosen. It's up to you to uncover who it is. Remember everything you see as you journey through the tower. You may need it to win the key of freedom. Not all of you will get that far. Some of you will be staying here a very long time. Vicious! Floor six! Bother a blocks! Line up! Nothing like a beautiful bouncing baby. And this is nothing like a beautiful bouncing baby. Unfortunates will have their work cut out in this nasty nursery. They must build a tower out of the toy blocks scattered around the room, whilst keeping an eye on the restless baby botherer. But beware, if there are power cuts, one unfortunate will be out to cause chaos. With a baby botherer on the loose, there'll be trouble. To pass, unfortunates must make sure baby's back in his pen and all toy blocks are on the rug. So, who cannot be trusted? Lucy, do not react. You are the saboteur, and you are the only one who can hear my voice. When the lights go out, it will be pitch black, and this is your chance to release the baby botherer and destroy the tower. Now be careful not to knock into anyone, and be back in position when the lights come on. I will guide you through your whisper clip. Oh, <laughs> the challenge is set, and the saboteur picked. All Lucy needs to do is make sure the team fail without being spotted. Unfortunate. To pass, you must ensure the butterer is in the pen, and all the toy blocks are on the rug at the end of 90 seconds. Let the challenge begin! Now! Lucy, work quickly. You want to look as if you're on their side. You need to look busy. Get more blocks. Come on! When the lights go out, make sure you're not standing too close to anyone. There's a power cut coming. In three, two, one, now! Wait. Now move quietly. Go! Go to the lever. Quickly! 60 seconds. Release the baby botherer. Pull the lever. That's it. Now back in position. Let the baby create chaos. <laughs> Look shocked. Brilliant! Lucy, don't spend too long by the baby's pen. You don't want to look suspicious. There's another power cut coming. Three, two, one, now! Go, go! As quietly as you can, release the botherer. Pull the lever. Reach up. Grab it! Here he comes. Excellent! Time is running out. Look busy! 
Nine. Eight. Let Ross deal with the baby. You get back and blend in with your team. Three. Two. One. Your time is up. You have failed. Miserably. <laughs> to sabotage, you need to be sneaky. I don't know how she'll get away with that one. You must now vote for who you think the saboteur was and why. Ross, who do you think the saboteur was? I think it was Lucy because I heard footsteps near me. Lucy. I reckon it was PJ because um, at the end he um, was blaming it all on me and he hardly joined in. Jordan. I think the saboteur was Lucy because when I was trying to put the blocks back, she was standing by the pen. PJ, who do you think the saboteur was? I think the saboteur was Lucy because whenever we had a blackout, she was always near the playpen. Megan. I think it was PJ because he, he didn't join in the game. Kimberly. I think it was Lucy because she wasn't really joining in. You have voted for Lucy. I can now reveal the saboteur was in fact... Lucy. Lucy, although you sabotaged the challenge, you were detected. Therefore, you will not be leaving this room. The others are free to pass to the next floor. Oh! There's no point in being the saboteur if everyone knows it's you! <laughs> Lucy, any last words? I wish I'd done better and I'm really going to miss my family. Poor unfortunate Lucy. You're trapped. Ever after! <laughs> Poor little Lucy. She's feeling quite sick. Stuck with a baby. Alone on floor six. Floor five. The Midnight Bride. Oh, do I hear wedding bells? Oh no, it's just the sound of impending doom! When the clock strikes twelve, the Midnight Bride has so many admirers she cannot decide. This is all getting silly. The marriage man said, You must find a husband before you are dead. Unfortunates must find her three potential husbands. But beware, present her with any she don't like the look of and there'll be trouble. <laughs> Choosing correctly three times, and it's all over. <laughs> Remember, one of them is not to be trusted. But who is it? PJ, do not react. You are the saboteur. What the others do not know is tonight the bride hates all potential husbands on the left side of the room. You must use your powers of persuasion to make the others fail. But don't be too obvious. I will guide you through your whisper clip. Yee! The next saboteur is PJ, but will he blow his cover? Pew! Unfortunates! To pass, the bride must approve three potential husbands. Let the challenge begin! Now! Don't be late. Choose Hector. That one. Hector. 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 That's it. She'll hate any portrait on the left side of the room. Yeah. 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 Sure. Well yeah. done, PJ. This is a good start. The bride is coming. I don't think she's going to like him. Do you, bride, take Hector not to be your tearful, shredded husband? She's not happy. Not one little bit. <laughs> Find her another husband. On the left of the room, PJ. They're looking on the right. Come on. If you don't talk, the others will notice. Too late. You need to speak up next time. Bride, do you take Edwin Crust to be your tearful, shredded husband? Yeah, that one. That one. Yeah, that one. Yeah. 
Rachel? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You've led them right into trouble. <laughs> Do you, bride, take Jefferson Meld to be your tearful, shredded husband? Yes! I'd be new. Perfect. <laughs> Do you, bride, take Edmund Newt to be your tearful, shredded husband? Nicely played, but has the saboteur been spotted? You must now vote for who you think the saboteur was and why. Jordan, who did you think the saboteur was? I think the saboteur was Ross because every time he picked one it was wrong. PJ. I think the saboteur was Megan because she kept picking the wrong ones. Megan. I think it was Ross because he made us choose all the wrong ones. Kimberly, who do you think the saboteur was? I think it was PJ because every time he was joining in, he chose the wrong one. Ross. I think it was Jordan because he was so quiet. You have voted for Ross. I can now reveal the saboteur was in fact... PJ. Ross. You will not be leaving this room. The others could still win the key of freedom and are free to pass to the next floor. Oh, scrumble nuts! <laughs> are about to get a little hairy. There once was a girl, approach if you dare. Never combed it or cut it, now she's trapped by her hair. Split ends is her name, and the poor thing's in knots. Unfortunate must gently untie three bows from her tangled plait without disturbing her. If she screams three times, it's all over. Beware, someone will be out to upset her. But who will it be? Megan, do not react. You are the saboteur. I will tell you which bow will set off split ends in each bunch. You must use your powers of persuasion to make the others fail. But don't be too obvious, or they'll suspect you. I will guide you through your whisper clip. So, Megan is the saboteur. The others are clueless. But for how long? Unfortunate. To pass, you must successfully remove three bows without disturbing split ends. Let that challenge begin. Now! Megan, the yellow bow is the screamer. I think we should go for the yellow one. Yes! Uh, why the yellow one? Because it goes like that. Do you all guess? Yeah. Megan, Kimberly? The yellow one, yeah, yeah. Brilliant. They've made this one easy for you. Be careful. Be quiet, I've accidentally put too hard. <laughs> Megan, this time the red bow is the screamer. Why me? Um, um oh, and should we go for a... How about that red one there? Your yeah, sister's yeah. picked red. Yes, Guide the team. PJ, yeah. Just, just be, be careful. careful. When you just be careful <laughs> when you sing. Nice performance, Megan. 
Jordan's very jumpy. Just wait. <laughs> Lucky Megan. You only need one more and they fail. Shall we go for a... Uh... Yeah, I don't know. The green bow is the screamer. Um, Megan? Green? We haven't been for green yet. I don't know. Green? Come on. Uh, Speak up. Green. You're gone, eh? Megan, you're doing brilliantly. Just make sure you keep up the act. Go no, no, in front. Go. Yeah. Nicely done. You don't want them to suspect you now. Sure. Look, just round here. Think about how you're going to play this one. What about the oh. one? Sneaky. Miss Easley, what should we go for? We've <laughs> come for green, so don't go for training. They're sticking with green. Careful. I really don't think it will be green. Unfortunates, you have failed miserably. Oh, magniferous. You must now vote for who you think the saboteur was and why. PJ, who do you think the saboteur was? I think the saboteur is Kimberly because she picked all the wrong ones. Megan. I think it was PJ because he made us choose all the bad ones. Kimberly. I think it was PJ because he wasn't joining in that much and he kept blaming me. Jordan. I think the saboteur was PJ because he was just keeping quiet. You have voted for... PJ, I can now reveal the saboteur was in fact Megan. PJ, you will not be leaving this room. The others are free to pass to the next floor. Yes. Oh, done up like a kipper. Smell it too. <laughs> PJ, any last words? I can't believe they voted for me. Poor unfortunate PJ. You're trapped! Never after. Poor little PJ! Escaped once before, now betrayed by the others. He's trapped on floor four. Ah. What? Oh, hello, Mr. and Mrs. Thingy. Yep, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, sorry, can I just interrupt you a minute? <laughs> now, where were we? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lucy is trapped on floor six. Ross is trapped on floor five. And poor little PJ is trapped on floor four. Floor three, Scallywag Wood. Uh, why did the chicken cross the road? To get to Scallywag Wood! Forget! If you go down to Scallywag Wood, you're sure of a big surprise. You'll see Esme's transformations. You won't believe your eyes. She turns chickens into creatures. But sometimes when they're an out, she'll catch and transform Scallywags. So unfortunate, look out! To escape this floor, unfortunates must find two Scallywags transformed by Esme. Find two chickens and it's all over. Remember, one of them is not to be trusted. But who is it? Kimberly, do not react. You are the saboteur. It is your job to ensure your team fail this challenge. On Esme's cart, you will find a chinchilla, toad, mouse, cockroach, snail, scorpion, snake, lizard, and spider. Guide your team away from creatures that begin with an S. These will be scallywags. I will guide you through your whisper clip. Ooh, Kimberly is the next saboteur. The question is, can she get away with it? Mm. Unfortunates. To pass, you must find two scallywags. Let the challenge begin. Now! So, which one will it be? Kimberly, guide them to creatures that don't begin with S. The lizard, mouse, toad, or cockroach. Toad? Careful. So we're going to toad. Yeah. The toad. Okay. Are you sure? Yeah. That is a very quick decision. Think about it. Quick. Are you sure you want to go with the toad? We could go with the mouse. 
Yeah, I think the mouse. You're changing your mind now. Oh. So what are we going for? I think the mouse. You have to decide as a team. Should we go with the mouse? Yeah, okay, then the mouse. The mouse. That's right. Confuse the team so that they think they're the ones making the decision. What is he? Was he a scallywag or is he a plain old chicken? Let's place him in the tree of transformation. This will be one to you. But remember to look disappointed. Stand back! <laughs> nice going, Megan. I do not believe this. You are hunting for scallywags. I know you are giving me a chicken. Okay. You find me scallywags. Should we go for the toad? I don't know. Should we? Or... How are you going to play this one? Mm. Shall we go for the snake? Um, snail maybe? Megan, no. what do you want to go for? Mm. You seem pretty comfortable. Are you going for the snail? Put the pressure on. What, what are we going for? I think we should go for the snail, like MG said. You're uh, playing yeah. dangerously, Kimberly. Okay. This will be one all. Listen to me. We go for the snail. And let's put him in the tree of transformation. Well, let's hope they trust you. Stand back! Remember to look pleased. <laughs> You have got one. The next choice is the most important one. You get a plain old chicken, and that's it. It's curtains. So, what's it gonna be? Play this carefully, Kimberly. Maybe the cockroach? <laughs> you like the cockroach? What about the tarantula? No! It's for spider! Take control! You'll go for the tarantula? What do you want to go for? I don't know. So, who's deciding she go? Yes. Because okay. he does get yeah. pretty friendly. He's very friendly. You're going for the cockroach? Let's hope you are a scallywag for your sex. Nicely done. You've got them. Oh, I don't understand. Unfortunate. You have failed miserably. Bam. Thumbs up. But have they got away with it? You must now vote for who you think the saboteur was and why. Jordan, who did you think the saboteur was? I think the saboteur was Megan because each time she guessed she got it wrong. Megan. I think it was Kimberly because on the last guess she made us get a chicken because she chose the cockroach. Kimberly. I think it was Megan because every time she agreed with everyone, it made us get a chicken. You have voted for... Megan, I can now reveal the saboteur was in fact Kimberly. Megan, you will not be leaving this room. Jordan and Kimberly will go head to head in the fight for freedom. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> Megan, any last words? Yeah, I can't believe my sister voted for me. And it stinks in here. Poor unfortunate Megan. You're trapped! Never after. <laughs> Poor little Megan. Glad it's not me. Stuck there with Esme. Trapped on floor three. Floor two! The fight for freedom! This is it! I'm so excited! I can tickle a tangerine! Unfortunate. This is your only chance to win the key of freedom and escape. I will ask you questions about your time in the tower. Get it right, and you take one step closer to the key. Get it wrong, and your opponent takes the step. It's a race to the key, and there can only be one winner. Jordan, your first question. How many times did the lights go out on floor six? Three. Incorrect. Twice. Kimberly, take Jordan's step towards the key. Kimberly, your first question. What color was Split End's gloves? Black. Correct. Her gloves were black. Kimberly, take one step towards the key. Jordan, name two creatures that can be found on Esme's cart. Cockroach and a tarantula. Correct. There was a cockroach and a tarantula. Jordan, take your step towards the key. 
Kimberly. Name two colors on the toy blocks on floor six. Red and yellow. Correct. There were red and yellow blocks. Kimberly, take one step towards the key. Jordan, you must answer this question correctly to stay in the game. Get it wrong and Kimberly will win. How many of Split End's bunches had bows on them? Five. Correct. Five bunches had bows. Jordan, take one step towards the key. Kimberly, the key of freedom is within your grasp. Get this right and you win. Get it wrong and Jordan is still in with a chance. What color is the number in the stained glass window on floor five? Black. Incorrect. It was red. Jordan, you're still in the game. Take Kimberly's step towards the key. Well, well, well. Now you must both answer correctly or you risk being trapped. Jordan, what color was the bow in the middle of Split End's head? Red. Incorrect. It was black. Kimberly, answer this question correctly and you will win the key of freedom. Get it wrong and Jordan is still in with a chance. What images were on the baby botherer's pink pajamas? Skull and crossbow. Correct. Congratulations, Kimberly. You have won the key. Take it. Poor unfortunate Jordan. You're trapped! Kimberly, you have won your freedom. Take the key and leave the tower before I change my mind. Poor little Jordan missed out on the key. Kimberly escaped and now she's free. Yahoo! I won! Don't matter. There's a spare one on floor three. So, Kimberly is free ever after. And so are you. For now. <laughs> Thank you.